Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, it's hot topics you want and hot topics you'll get. Wendy sounding off on all the juiciest. Plus, is Khloe Kardashian caught in a love triangle? Will Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau ever make it down the aisle? Chloe Molas is here with today's Romance Report. And from the game, Wendy Raquel Robinson tells us about what's coming up on the shocking last season of the Smash Hit Show. Now, here's Wendy! to cover. Let's get started. It's time for what? Hot Topics! You got it. needs a life. I am sorry. What is, you know, we're fans of Beyonce. People love Beyonce, but beehives, you know, they're the super fans, the ones that don't have a life. It, se- it almost seems without Beyonce <laughs> saying the life you should live. So they're on attack because um, Beyonce promised to make a huge announcement on Good Morning America yesterday. Take a look at the dramatic ad and then we'll talk. Beyonce has something amazing she wants you to know. This is something I have to share with everyone. So what is it? You're gonna love it. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Okay, so I saw the ad. I didn't know what it was. I said, maybe, well, she's pregnant. I know you you might have been thinking the same thing. Or maybe she has a new album coming out, right? Or maybe she's going on world tour. But no, as we know now, the announcement is a 21-day vegan diet. I I must say, you know, my Hot Topics team, um, they follow Beyonce on social media, and there were a lot of her beehives saying, wait a minute, we took off from school? (laughs) No, 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 really, this is what people do. We took off from school for this announcement. We arrived late to work. Even my own Hot Topics team. (laughs) Those are just two of them. There's six more um, up in the ceiling. (laughs) Anyway, look, look. All eight of them delayed morning meeting to watch. I'm like, where where is everybody? Where is everybody? They're like, they're watching Beyonce. So they were disappointed. I guess you were disappointed. Disappointed. First of all, this is not Beyonce's fault. Okay? This is the fault of my friends at Good Morning America. <laughs> However, to know TV and even radio, the art of the tease is everything. You want to tease the heck out of something so everybody is watching. Unfortunately, in the media, that's what we do. And Beyonce is powerful enough, though, that her team should have been the people who gave the final thumbs up on the T's. Now, maybe they were, and maybe they were fine with this deceptive T's. Personally speaking, I feel like the T's was way too much because it did... Okay. Okay. But... (laughs) But... Ultimately speaking... Beyonce is just the artist. No matter what you might think, don't be mad at Beyonce. Be mad at Good Morning America and maybe Beyonce's team who might have sanctioned this promo. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's, and as far as a vegan diet, you know, that's where you don't eat the meat. You don't eat anything with a mother. 
<laughs> and googly eyes, which, you know, never in my life would I ever think I was one of those people. No offense, because you know I'm a foodie, but right now I am two, almost two weeks into a 30-day cleanse. <laughs> Not ooh, not ooh. This is water, not tea. I would love a pork chop to use as a stirrer, okay? But me and my whole family are doing it, and I have to say, it doesn't mean like like her Beehive fans were calling out. Well, wait a minute, you're the ambassador of Popeye's fried chicken. <laughs> Like, you've got a gold card. You ate, you, and they've, they've shown several um, pictures of Beyonce, you know, eating regular food like cheeseburgers and steak and, you know, stuff like that. But I'm like, okay, she said a 22 or 21 day cleanse. She didn't say a way of life. When my 30 days is over, okay. <laughs> I had walnuts and kale for breakfast. And no, hot sauce is not part of the diet. <laughs> it's not a diet. Every once in a while, though, you guys, it is good to press the reset button on your body. Yeah. Whether it's that you're dieting or you're just totally juicing or you're cleansing, every once in a while. And, and then when you go back to your regular life, you never really fully go back. There are always things that you learn from your cleanse that so... I don't mind that Beyonce teased us like this. I'm not a beehive, nor, you know, do I care about her delivery service for vegan food. <laughs> <laughs> but if you do, then understand that. Are, are you still upset that she teased you like that? Yes. Yes. No. Well, look. Okay, clap if you're over it. Okay. <laughs> So we can move on to talk about Lindsay Lohan? Okay. It's time for a Lindsay update. Hit it. So, they're saying that it looks like the tides have turned for Lindsay. I'm a cynic. <laughs> and remember, you have to consider the source. Her mom, Dina... <laughs> She called her a monster. <laughs> oh, no, I heard you, girl. It's okay. Welcome to the show. We express ourselves. Uh-huh. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> um, her mom, Dina, told RadarOnline.com that Lindsay is happier than ever and getting movie offers left and right. I didn't believe this when I heard it. I said, show me the receipts. <laughs> so... So my team went on um, this thing called IMDB, where they show how actors are... I mean, I know what that is. I don't know what... You know, whatever. It, it, shows, it shows what you acted in and, and starred in and stuff. Lindsay has no movies in the works on IMDB. Uh... You know, my thought is that, you know, Lindsay would be really good. Now, follow what I'm saying. <laughs> she would really be good teaching acting or branding yourself at a university. Not like a, maybe, a, you know, a two-year co... <laughs> I mean, if she could show up on time for class, why not? Kids in college would listen to their contemporary, you know... <laughs> Okay, well, I tried. I, I tried, that's all. In the meantime... Well, they're saying that uh, she may have a new man in her life. He's an Italian businessman from Italy. And there they are together. Unfortunately, the next picture... Oh, that's cute, but follow this one. Okay, show the next picture. Disturbing. He's looking at her like, really? <laughs> <laughs> and she's ignoring him like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Some people think it's a bad sign that Lindsay is drinking. I happen to be one of those people. Remember, she's be... Well, this is why. You know, she's be been in rehab six times. 
And out of her own mouth, she said that the first few, not a couple, few to me is three, several is five or more. <laughs> I'm very technical in that. All right, so she said the first few times she was in rehab, she taught it as a joke. She said that. Also, remember when she sat down with Oprah? I don't know if you remember what she said. I don't, but that's what I have my Hot Topics team for. <laughs> Look, she told Oprah that alcohol is her drug of choice. When Oprah said, what is your drug of choice? She said alcohol. Now, quite frankly, I think that a lot of people say alcohol when really they're doing way worse. <laughs> Because alcohol is like that acceptable thing, you know, that, okay, if I just say alcoholism and go to rehab, I don't have to talk about the Coke or the Molly or whatever, whatever you're on, you know, everybody blames it on the alcohol. <laughs> A mess. So, in conclusion, I think that Lindsay is still on the skids to skid row. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, here at the Wendy Show, we've got many sources for all the mess that we do. Well, there's this French magazine, magazine that we adore. It's called Oops. <laughs> and in it, it's claiming that Leonardo DiCaprio is having a baby with Rihanna. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, because notice how this rumor was all the way over there, as opposed to right here on our newsstand. <laughs> That's the first sign of, mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so Leo shut the story down right away. He's suing the magazine for a mere $20,000. A lot to me and you, but not a lot to Leo. But I guess what he wants to do is shut it down to, to show and prove. My thing is, if I were Rihanna, I would be very, very insulted by this. Because we've seen them out on the town together in what looked like a dating situation. You read the magazines, you watch Entertainment Tonight and all that stuff. So of all the things that you could say about Leonardo DiCaprio, and he's single and he gets, he's got a very, he's got a very, he's got a very full social life. And we've all talked about him for years, but I've never heard of a suation. The idea, to me, the idea that the first suit is me, Rihanna? Like, what are you, insulted if the condom broke and somehow I got, pr like, why? Like, I would, be, I would be insulted. As a matter of fact, if I were Rihanna, I might call him up and say, um, <laughs> look, look, I've got something really important to tell you and it's time sensitive. Oh. And then not answer, not answer when he returns the call to make, to make him think something's going on. <laughs> and you know, Kim and Kanye, this is a free thinking show. I, some days, I, you know, I am judging you horribly. Uh, today is the day that I am all with you. Con <laughs> Don't get used to it. <laughs> Kanye turned 38 years old yesterday, and Kim dropped a ton of money to celebrate. It's time for How You Spending. Hit it. <laughs> How You Spending. Okay. Water. <laughs> I'm drinking it like it's good, though, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, Kim spent $110,000 to rent out the, table, the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Now, I think this is fabulous. If your man is into basketball, this is a fabulous gift. And $110,000 is a lot to us, but that's not a lot to Kim. And it's only the 38th birthday. Imagine what you do for the 40th if they're still together. <laughs> Just saying. So here's what she did. It was very romantical. She blindfolded Kanye, and when he arrived... His friends and family were there, and NBA players, too. Aww. Look at this picture. It's fantastic. Like, if you can do this for your man, this is wonderful. She even hired real NBA referees and cheerleaders. Uh-huh, from the Lakers. Aww. 
I don't see anything. Do you see something? Other than sometimes, you know, after you have your eggs in the morning. Well, I used to. Not now. <laughs> you know, when you have your eggs in the morning, you might have a little something, but that doesn't... All right, I'm not judging. All I'm saying is she did admit that she's wearing two pairs of Spanx, which I didn't know pregnant women wore Spanx. That's like pushing the baby back in as opposed to letting it grow. <laughs> That's all. And, you know, Kim is really short, and, like, everybody here has got to be very short for Kanye to look so big and, and beefy, you know what I mean? He's a little man. Anyway, so, look, <laughs> back to the celebration. John Legend sang Happy Birthday, not the regular one, but the Stevie Wonder one with the soul clap. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, John Sally was the announcer. And James Harden is in there, and Two Chains. Um, they were coaches. Uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> Justin Bieber was there. Pusha T was there. John Wall. Tyga. Tyga even bought his underage girlfriend with the new button lips. Yeah. But look. They were all there to celebrate Kanye, and I just think that this is a... All in all, I do think, even though there was shade in the story... Yes. I do... <laughs> that, this is our show, though. <laughs> That's what we do. Um, I think that this is a beautiful thing. Happy birthday, Kanye. Aww. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Friend to the show, Brandy Norwood, wants a job. She's practically begging for it. Apparently, NBC is looking for an unknown actress to play Dorothy in The Wiz, yeah. which will air live on NBC in December. I think this is terrific. Now, of course, Brandy is not an unknown. We've known her since forever. Uh, Brandy is making it known, though, that she really wants this part, and I'll tell you what she says. She says... <laughs> I can really bring something to Dorothy because of the way I feel, my spirit, and how genuine I feel. I can bring life to that character. I feel like I'm the one to do it. Give me the opportunity, and I will make them so proud and inspire the world with that role. Aww. You know? I know, I know that there are a lot of people that have too much pride, especially after they've accomplished so much as Brandy. You wouldn't beg for a role, but I say sometimes you have to put it out there in order for them to understand how badly you want it. So I applaud B Brandy for doing that. Um, they are looking for an unknown because they don't want the story to be distracted by a star. But you know what? All right, there are a few things. First of all, Brandy is too old to play Dorothy. <laughs> now hold on! <laughs> Brandy is, like, 36, okay? Now, you know, when you watch The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy was, like, 14 years old. But the thing about Brandy is that she's got the light in her eyes. Uh, she's got the light in her doe eyes and that, that big smile. And we've known her so much as Moesha. Why, when she comes here, I have a difficult time accepting her as a woman. And I tell her that all the... I'm like, oh, my gosh, you've got, a, you know, a daughter in the double numbers and you've got, um, you know, um, an engagement under your belt and you've lived life. Not my little Brandy Norwood. <laughs> so uh, even though she's too old at 36, I feel as though we still see her as young and I think that she could play Dorothy. <laughs> But and then, <laughs> and then I was reminded in my morning meeting that Diana Ross was 34 when she played Dorothy. Uh, yeah. Well, that's Diana. The best I can say is because that's Diana Ross. I mean, Diana Ross at 34. Brandy looks younger than Diana Ross at 36. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but they just let Diana do that because that's Diana Ross. Who doesn't answer the door when Ross comes knocking? <laughs> and then, and then, Stephanie Mills, the R&B singer, she played Dorothy also. And she was not 14, but Stephanie Mills is only about four feet tall. <laughs> and, and, well, you know size matters if you're trying to play a child. I really don't have a right to speak about anything and don't take away my black pass. But I have never seen The Wiz. Oh. I, I, 
can go one further. I've never seen for Gullah girls with the rainbow. I've never seen it, and I'm, I'm not embarrassed to tell you that, but, you know, I grew up in New Jersey, and we come to New York, I mean, you, New Jersey, New York, the same thing, but when we come here, we'd have a different kind of experience. Like, we'd go to B. Altman's and Gimbel's and Alexander's, and we would, we would go to the museums and the Statue of Liberty and the, and the top of um, the Empire State Building and stuff. We would go to Corvettes. Remember Corvettes? Yes. And we would go to Macy's, because in Jersey, it was still Bamberger's. Remember? <laughs> okay, okay. And, and we would go to restaurants like the old Mama Leone's and Cornucopia. Damn, I miss food. <laughs> um, but one thing that we were never really into, and I really don't know why, but we had cultural experiences, we weren't really the Broadway family. So, yeah, I'd never seen the quiz. <laughs> but, but, so my first time seeing it, look, look at Nipsey Russell. Um... So my first time seeing The Wiz will be in December. Brandy, hopefully you'll get this role. If you don't, it'll still be worth watching because it's family watching, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Rihanna's niece had a Flintstone-themed birthday party, Aww. and Rihanna went all out. It's our hot shot of the day. Hit it. <laughs> Okay, Rihanna says that her costume is Thotty Pebbles. Her assistant dressed as what, Wilma? Ratchet, Wilma. Ratchet Wilma. <laughs> That's a cute theme party, though. I mean, without the thottiness and the ratchetiness. I was trying to figure out what kind of wig the assistant has on. Is that one of those plastic wigs that you just place on your head? I don't... These are good costumes, though. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, Rihanna's niece. And you keep it here, everybody. We've got more fantastic show for you. From the hit BET show, The Game, the fabulous Wendy Raquel Robinson is here. But up next is Khloe Kardashian in the middle of a love triangle. Will Jennifer Aniston ever walk down the aisle? Khloe Milos is here with the romance report after the break. Don't go far. Thank you. continues and you can be sure i got you with the juicy hot topics you know i do plus she was an angel but now her secret is out model chanel iman tells us about starring in pharrell's must-see new movie who doesn't love chanel <laughs> tomorrow on an all-new wendy report here with all the latest stories on our favorite celebrity couples. Welcome back to our show, our friend, Chloe Malas. Okay. Chloe, let's talk love triangles. I love this story. I love, love Wendy, and I love talking about relationships. So, first up, you know, Chloe Kardashian, everybody thought that she was dating French Montana, right? right. Well, they aren't seeing each other anymore, we can tell you. Mm -hmm. And actually, she was just spotted out on a date at a really hot restaurant in L.A. called Casa Vega. Actually, her mom, Kris Jenner, likes to go there a lot. So, I like doesn't that fall place, far too. from the tree. So she, oh, you've been? Yeah. It's good, right? So she went there with Rick Fox. He is a 45-year-old. Everybody calm down. Former NBA star. He used to date Eliza Dushku. He's really, really cute. He's single. They broke up. But she was spotted with him at 11.45 at night having dinner. Okay. I've never had dinner that late before, so I don't really know why they would go there that late. But we had an insider at Hollywood Life who saw them really cozy. It was just them talking really closely. But here's, like, the twist. We actually found out that they were talking about Lamar Odom. This is what I say. You're always right, Wendy. Well, no, I could be wrong. They could be smushing. Okay. But I'm not going with that. My thought is that, you know, Rick Fox, first of all, why would he get involved with the messiness of the Kardashians? Exactly. He has a relatively quiet personal life. He's got kids with the fabulous Vanessa Williams. Why would he want to be involved with the Kardashian? But he is an OG in the basketball game. Oh, yeah. And could offer her a lot of insight as to what to do with woeful Lamar. You got it totally right. 
right? Yeah. You win the prize there. Yeah. So he was giving her a lot of advice about what to do with Lamar because they are still married, guys. So they've actually called off the divorce for right now. Yeah. So we can tell you that uh, on the upcoming season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe is actually on the phone with Lamar. Kim storms in and says, what are you doing on the phone with Lamar? Right. I thought you guys called off the divorce. And she said, it's not your problem. You don't have to worry about it. So for right now, they're together. And uh, Chloe's been posting a lot of things about love and heartbreak recently on her Instagram uh -huh. account. And here is one, Wendy, that I thought you would like. Okay. It says, it wasn't a matter of if I loved you. It was a matter if you fought and stayed. So it looks like that is pointed at Lamar Odom. Basically, yeah. like, fight for me if you want me. It seems like they're fighting for their love. Okay, Rick Fox, you're off the hook for now. <laughs> okay, now... Here's another story I've been dying to talk about because I read stuff and hear stuff. Jennifer Aniston, is she going to marry uh, Justin Thoreau? Okay, Wendy, breaking news. Today, it has been 1,033 days since <laughs> Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau got engaged. Okay. If I'm doing the math correctly, that's three years. That is way longer than I was engaged and way longer than most people are normally uh -huh, engaged. Uh -huh. So you're probably thinking that she has cold feet and that she's the one because she had that big public messy divorce from Brad Pitt that maybe I'm going to take things slow this time. Guess what? Reportedly, it's Justin Thoreau that's dragging his feet and that while they were going over the menus for their upcoming wedding, they were trying to decide between shellfish or salmon. Both. And, <laughs> and, and he blurted yeah. out, I need time. I need a minute. I can't go through with this wedding. So, like, the, the shellfish put him overboard, and so <laughs> he, like, needed a second. So they have slowed down things on the wedding, but she is renovating her multi-million dollar house, so she's really stressed out, Wendy, with, like, picking out fabrics, you know. And he's working on the new Zoolander movie in Italy, so they have really busy schedules. So. Okay. So things are on hold for right now. So I'm hoping, though, that they do get married soon. But if they do, he was, it's going to be top secret. But he was with his girlfriend right before Jennifer for 14 years, and she thought that they would get married. They lived together here oh, in yeah. Manhattan. Her name was Heidi Bevins, so, and they were together a very, very long time. So Jennifer is now with him, thinking that she could be the one to change this man who's marriage scared. I say once a bachelor, always a bachelor, Wendy. It's kind of hard to make a zebra change of stripes, maybe? But we recently saw a picture of Jennifer still wearing her ring, which I don't take that to mean anything sometimes. It's a pretty ring. Of course yeah. she's still going to wear it, you yeah. know? So, yeah. look, right now, everything seems to be fine. They're just both taking their time. But it looks like, though, he is the one that is slowing things down. So it's definitely like the last thing that anybody would have thought. So. I don't like this at all. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about life-saving love. Oh, Okay, so the best types of relationships, I think, Wendy, are based on being best friends. And Wilmer, uh, Valderrama, and Demi Lovato have been together on and off for five years. Yeah. And I think a lot of people forget that they have been dating. She just gave this explosive interview where she said, I love him. He actually changed my life, helped me through my depression with my suicidal thoughts and all the things that I was having in my oh, life. Yes. And he saved my life. If it wasn't for him, I would be dead. So... That is such strong words for her to say. Well, she also posted a really hot shirtless pic of him to her Instagram account. And when, when he was asked about this photo, he said that he was really embarrassed, but that he and Demi are together and that he loves her, but he doesn't like being in the limelight. But here's the other thing. He was asked in February if he would ever put a ring on it. And he said, yeah, he would one day. The only so. thing is that he, isn't he in his late 30s and she's only 24? She's 22, oh, he's 35, oh, so, Wendy, there is a bit of an age difference there. I think that she has, you know, plenty of more time to wait. Maybe him not so much, but guys, they get off easy when it comes to that. But yeah. they are a couple that's going to stay together, so All right. I'm really happy for them. I love this romance report. Yeah, me Thank too. you, Chloe. Make sure you check Chloe out on the Gossip Table on VH1. Up next, from the game, Wendy Michelle Robinson is here. Opinionated Tasha Mack on BET's hit show, The Game. Take a look. <laughs> Please welcome the fabulous Wendy Raquel Robinson.
We'll start with the shoe cam. No, both oh. feet on the shoes. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. You've got Barbie feet. What size is that? Like a seven? Oh, I wish they were a seven. Honey, I don't have Barbie feet. No, 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 no. These are nine. Oh, nine. wow. They're nice. Anyway, Thank you. So it's nice to see you again. It's good to you see look you. Fantastic. Looking fabulous. Thank you. Yes. Now, I know one of the things about you know hair play is that we can change it up a lot. Now, <laughs> what's what's uh, uh, are these extensions, weave, wig? What's going on? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm giving you the side eye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, you know what it is. It's a little bit of everything. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. How's your husband? Ooh, husband's good. Husband, yeah. husband likes a little bit of everything. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. Uh -huh. Now, he looks young. Ooh. I mean, you're young, too. Is he? I like him young. Yes. <laughs> young work. Young work. And you've been here before, but I swear I never remember asking you, what does he do? Um, he takes care of me. Perfect. Okay. okay. He's a MacGyver. He does a little bit of everything, but um, my baby's right there in my corner to me. That's Marco Perfect. Perkins. 12 Thank years. You. 12, 12 years. years. Yeah. 12 years. Now, does Michael get jealous of Tasha Mack's sex scenes? Because you all go in on the game. Baby, I... we go in, honey. <laughs> he can't take it. He cannot take it. Ooh, see, look, right there. Yeah. Speaking of young, oh, yeah, that's Terrence Shea. But you know what? It's really difficult for him to watch the show. Uh-huh. Yeah, because we just, you know, it's like, hey, how you doing? Let's get into bed together. Yes. So, um, but he watches it. He loves it. And, you know, the game has made a wonderful living for me, so he's happy. Yes, happy. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's happy with that. Now, when you call him MacGyver, he does stuff like at the like he's able to fix stuff Baby, that a he, lot of men don't do anymore. Exactly. We don't we don't have a lot of men that can do that. But one thing I can say about my husband, he can fix, he can tweak, he can twerk, he can work it, honey, he can unplug it. Yes. <laughs> now, because you know, of course, you were on the Steve Harvey show, mm -hmm. but you know, and the role of principal has kind of left our minds because all we think, at least all I think about, is Wendy Raquel Robinson as being Tasha Mack, oh, even wow. even in real life, and that's called wow. good acting. Thank you. Thank are, you. Are you? Are, no, well, well, thank you. Look, thank you. Are you? Are you a big mouth, pushy? <laughs> person in real life? You know what it is? I think <laughs> the characters that I've played have allowed me to be my alter ego. Yeah. So, because Wendy, I'm, I'm really shy, believe it or not, and I'm kind of quiet, uh -huh. you know, unless you know me. Right, And it's right. like, hey, it's on. Like, right. I'm comfortable with you right now. Yes. It's like, it's great. But um, I think I've hidden behind a lot of my characters that have allowed me to be more outspoken and ballsy and brassy. That's and the great thing about acting. That's what I love about acting. So, and, um... Yeah. And I didn't realize that you graduated from Howard University. You were there with Taraji P. Henson and, yes. and so many other people. But Anthony you, Anderson, Anthony. Isaiah Washington, Paula J. Parker. Yeah, we were all there together. But you and Taraji were actually friends. Oh, yes. Still are. So if you were offered a role on Empire, do you, do you run Hello, there? Hello, uh, Holler! Holler! You say what? I like that idea. I love it. As a matter of fact, I like Keep the talking. idea. I like the idea of Tasha Mack being on Empire. Ooh. Not a new character. I like your character being on Empire. Well, you know what, honey? I'll take Tasha, I'll take Wendy, I'll take Wendy Raquel, I'll take yes. whatever, honey. Put me on Empire. So, put me on that. I mean... Thank you. The, the game has been on TV for nine years. Can um, you believe it? Thank what? you, fans. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. So... What's next for you? Are you scared? Are you nervous? Are you are you taking a trip around the world to find yourself? Like, what are you gonna do? You know what? And I love that you said that. Yeah. I, I am taking the trip around the world. I'm taking the trip around me. And just, okay. You know what? And, and I'm okay to just just to say, you know, what's out there for me. I'm doing a, a movie. Actually, it comes out The Descendants. Perfect. With Disney. I play Corella Deville. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yes. So that comes out July 31st. So I'm really excited about that, and I'm just looking forward to just. Oh, hey. Do you, and Kristen Chenowitz, Kathy and Jimmy, and um, oh my goodness! Do you it's sing? Amazing. Do you sing in this movie? No, but I can sing. If, no, no. <laughs> if, the, if the role calls for it. <laughs> well, look, it's always whatever the role calls for. Yeah, I will well, do it. That that is part of being an actress. <laughs> Wendy Raquel Robinson. It's always nice to see you, Wendy you Raquel. Too. Everybody. Uh, the game airs Wednesday nights at nine on BET. This is the last season. 
It's a must-watch show. Yeah. Ask Wendy is next. Except for you. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Hi, Wendy. I'm Nicole. So I quit my job about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And now I'm at home. I'm getting a little bored. My husband's very supportive. But I'm wondering, when should I go back to work? How do I know it's time? <laughs> Wait. I'm already starting jobs, like companies and stuff like that, like online. I'm getting well, very bored. I mean, I'm being that he's woman. supportive. Yes. Get back in it before the the um, before things get cold for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's or what you I'm can always do volunteerism. I mean, there are other yeah. things to do other than you know working. But get back into your field. What do you do? I work in sales and marketing and entertainment. You want to be back in that? I kind of want to do something that like working with people and having more like work impact. part time. Yeah. Work part time. I was thinking about that. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> but you're only you're only two weeks in. Yeah, two weeks in. I'm getting bored already. Oh my so God. Welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Hi, Wendy. I'm Sonia. Hi, Sonia. I'll be turning 50 next year. Uh huh. Welcome to the club. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> and I'm trying to decide whether I want to throw myself a huge party mm -hmm. and invite my family. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> because I don't want to exclude my family. Okay, or. But, or pay for a trip to Australia. I'd go to Australia. Go to Australia? I would go to Australia. If you don't have money for both, at 50, you do what you want. That's part of our rite of passage. Uh, and, and as far as your family, they're, they're still in your life when you get back. Yeah. So have fun. Thank you. You're very Australia welcome. Leader. You're very welcome. Yes, yes. One more quick one. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How are you? My name is Janae. Hi, Janae. So my parents are recently divorced. And I'm a bit of a daddy's girl, and I live at home right now with my mom. Mm -hmm. I'm still in school. I'm only 23. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, who should I live with without offending the other parent? Well, there's a chance that they'll both be offended, but that's not your problem. You're a child of divorce. And to me, no matter how old you are, whether you're 12 or, you know, 62, mm -hmm. when your parents get divorced, you know, you just, it's, it's, it it's, it's, it sucks. Yeah. You want to live with your dad? I do, I really do. Will you, will you spend more time then with your mom, like doing I, other things, like going for lunch or stopping at her house or sleeping over there maybe on Friday nights or something? I would definitely do that. Well, I'm with her now. Yeah. But, you know, it's just awkward because... Will she be by herself? Yeah. Will your dad I by himself? I love her to pieces. He's by himself now. And he, he doesn't really mind, but just for my own happiness, Why I Why don't you live rather. with him for the summer, like going away to camp? Yeah, that sounds good. And <laughs> close to your mom, right? Yes. Only about 20 minutes. They're only 20 minutes from each other. Yeah. So camp at your father's and live at your mother's. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Congratulations on your decision. Glad I could help. Um, okay. Oh, what would you do if you have a crush on a coworker and you don't know how to tell him? More Ask Wendy next. <laughs> Make your feed a little more fabulous. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for hot topic updates, candid pictures, and of course, behind the scenes dish. Get in on the conversation today. Welcome back. It's time for more Ask Wendy. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Good. How can I help? My name's Adua, and I'm a kindergarten teacher. And for about a year, I've had a little crush on one of my coworkers. We, yeah, we flirt sometimes. And I know he's single, um, and even he's really cute. Some of the parents even have like li really like him. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just wondering, should I make the first move? So how long has this been going on? This for about a year. A year. Mm -hmm. Gee, how do you resist? <laughs> Um, you know what? Are you mature enough that if this relationship goes south, you can still be nice to the kids? Oh, definitely. And keep your job. <laughs> yeah. Then I would suggest that today, right after the show, that you text him and tell him to meet you for coffee or something. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Now, keep this on the down low with the school. Mm -hmm. Unless things get really serious, but you've got to possess... How old are you? I'm 25. Okay, you've got to possess the maturity of, of a 55-year-old, okay? okay? In right. case it goes south. Good luck. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> time for another one. Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? 
How are you doing? Oh, I love you. First Thank of all, you. Uh, my name is Carmen. I'm 53 years old. I'm from Brazil. And in Brazil, all my friends are into Botox, plastic surgery, boobs, but all that. <gasps> and I just accept myself the way I am. <laughs> Okay. I stop dyeing my hair, uh -huh. and my friends is on my back. Okay. I should do something because Brazilian women look too perfect, mm -hmm. and I just don't know what to do to push them back from my back and leave me alone Tell and allow me to love myself for who I am. Tell them that. I mean, they should respect your choice to stay Thank natural you. while you respect their choice to be unnatural. All right. Do you have I, a boyfriend? Do you have a man? I have my husband for oh, 15 yeah. years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And I have five children and two grandchildren. So I want to be aging naturally for my grandkids. Well, then you let them know, and Thank everybody you. just needs to get along peacefully. And your husband loves it, so we all love it. Thank you, Ed. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Race the Clock is next. studio. <laughs> He's got 30 seconds to race the clock. Okay, Brian, are you ready? Yes. Earlier, we talked about Leonardo DiCaprio. Name four movies he starred in and go! Okay, uh, okay, Titanic, classic. Okay. Um, uh, uh, what's the one he's in? Uh, Great Gatsby. Okay, good. Recently. So. Um, uh, the, uh, ooh. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, The Aviator. I okay, just watched good. that. It was good. Um, and also the movies with Johnny Depp uh, in the 90s. The, uh, the, what's eating Gilbert Grape? Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> We're giving you Brian a $100 gift card yes! to Burlington. Oh, we'll be right you. back. Tomorrow, from the new movie Dope, supermodel Chanel Iman stops by. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye. <laughs>